Hello viewers and welcome once again to Samuel Munda channel and today we are going to learn how to make a skipping rope. First of all, you need to collect all the paper bags that you need. Then wash them and hang them so that they dry. Then using a pair of scissors cut thin stripes of the paper bag. The wind of the paper bag of, of the stripes will be determined by the size that you want. If you want a big string or a big rope, uh, you cut a big size. Then if you want a, a narrow one, you will measure it. You will measure according to the wind that you want. Then after cutting the stripes, you need to twist them, twist them into a string. You can see there we have uh, four strings there. One the made of blue stripes of a paper bag. And the other one is orange. And the other two are made of sizo. I have designed them to use those two made of sizo so that uh, the sizo will hand in the skipping rope. You know the paper bags are, are not quite heavy, they are light and therefore in order for us to make our rope uh, somehow heavy so that it will be uh, it will serve as well we have used a size saw string therefore uh, twist some more twist some more uh, stripes of paper bag According to the length that you want, according to the length that you want, and continue braiding them, continue braiding them, we need to braid them to our desired length, and our desired length of our, sp uh, of our skipping rope will be determined by the person who is or who will be using it. Uh, a good skipping rope should be more than the size of your stretched hands together with your chest. And therefore, if you want to measure it very well, you stand up and uh, hold the string on one one, uh, one hand and the other hand on the other one. And if it is enough for your stretched hands, then that is enough for you. Then after doing that, you we cut a plastic pipe, a piece of plastic pipe for the handle. And because we need two handles, we need to cut two pieces of plastic pipe. I'm cutting them uh, there using a hacksaw. That is what I'm doing there. That is one. We need to cut them into the same size. Uh, the other one is there. Uh, after cutting that pipe, will be will start 
to fix the handle the handle for your right hand and the handle for your left hand we have the two pieces of pipe there two pieces of plastic pipe then we get our uh, our rope there fix the handle on the, the other side and because uh, we need some weight there so that to hold the rope well on the handle therefore we need to strengthen it using that piece of wood we need to insert that piece of in, uh, hood in that handle we need to insert that piece of hood in that handle so that to hold the string or the rope very well uh, cut the excess strings cut the excess strings and the excess piece of hood so that you remain with the with the handle intact using a hacksaw uh, we cut the excess wound then hammer it so that it will fix well you can see one end of it is complete and then we need the other one to move the excess string and after that you will be having your keeping rope completed yeah I'm removing the excess string with a panga machete now look at it, I think our skipping rope is now complete with the two handles, look at it, um, we need to test it and see if it, it is okay for us, uh, we need to remove these uh, these overhanging pieces of paper bag stripes you can see we have our rope there but we need to to strengthen the other side of the handle using a piece of wood sharpen it uh, a little bit and then uh, you hammer it into into the plastic pipe there for the handle until it uh, it, it is able to hold the rope very well in that handle mm, I think that is job complete there uh, look at it if it is complete enough for the first testing now 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 you have your skipping rope with you there you can skip a bit 